Well, hello, we are live. How is everybody doing? We are talking today about, we're talking about our dogs, right? And this is definitely something you're going to want to listen to before you let your dog eat grass again. Let's, let's talk about it. Uh, so what am I doing here? Okay, here we go. So thank you so much for joining me. If you are joining me live on Instagram or Facebook, we're talking about reasons why your dog is eating grass. And you definitely want to listen to this before you let your dog eat grass again, because there are a couple of different reasons. And there's actually one reason that if you look it up on Google, uh, that Google will tell you that I actually don't agree with. So we're going to talk about that at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around for that as well. Um, hello, thank you so much for joining. And if you have any questions, whether it is related to eating grass or not, uh, about your dogs or your cats, go ahead and throw them in the comment section, whether you're watching this live or uh, the recorded, you know, you're watching this later on, I can come back and answer your questions for you. So there are a few different reasons why your dog may be inclined to, to eat grass. Greg Gregory, Peter, but yeah, grass settles their swell, maybe, possibly. It actually... It not necessarily settles their stomach, but we're going to talk about that in just a minute. But thank you for your comment. I appreciate it. So dogs who graze on grass may be trying to relieve digestive upset, which is what you were saying. It settles their, it doesn't actually settle their stomach, but they could be trying to relieve digestive upset. But interestingly, they could also be seeking out certain nutrients or uh, compounds that are in the plant that offer various health benefits for them that they may not be getting from the food that they, they are being fed. Um, so here's the thing. Like if, you're, if your dog is like always eating grass and eating a lot of grass, we definitely want to get into the veterinarian's office. But again, this could be nutritional. So here are the top four reasons why uh, your dog may be eating grass. Number one is to balance the gut microbiome. So many types of grass contain beneficial prebiotic fiber that may help your dog's intestinal flora uh, become more balanced and resilient. So yeah, it's not, uh, Gregory, the, the, to, to the second point that I'm getting ready to uh, talk about is that it can sometimes help relieve a GI upset or gastrointestinal upset, not necessarily because it settles their stomach, which is something that a lot of people say, which I totally understand why like a lot of people would be thinking that because it's kind of one of those like um, I don't know, urban legends or, or myths that, that people kind of talk about. Oh, it's they need to settle their stomach, right? Well, it's actually because certain types of grass, like dogs just instinct, instinctively know, is going to make them throw up. So they could be seeking out grass because they want to throw up because their stomach is unsettled. And so that's actually the reason why when their stomach isn't feeling so great, they may seek out grass because they just kind of instinctively know that maybe, you know, there's something going on. There's something in their stomach. There's something in their system that they're like, I need to get this out of my system. And doing something like eating a grass that would cause them to throw up is um, going to help purge whatever is uncomfortable, whatever shouldn't be there, whatever making them not feel so great, purge it out of their system. So that's the reason why it's like we people say it helps settle their stomach because once they throw up and they get all the nasty stuff out that is making them feel bad, then yes, their stomach can start to settle. So it's it's a yes and a no <laughs> on, on that front. Um, the third reason is because it can help eliminate intestinal parasites. And this is actually one of the... Um, reasons that we see chimpanzees eat, they, they consume tons of plant material, right? And it is because it increases the intestinal motility, me, meaning like 
how quickly things move through their intestine to rid their bodies of intestinal parasites. So uh, it is theorized by um, scientists that dogs will eat grass for similar reasons. So that's a pretty interesting one right there. And then the fourth reason is, as I said earlier, it could possibly be to fulfill specific nutrient requirements. So uh, there have been studies done where researchers found that grass eating in domestic dogs is a pretty normal thing that they that they are going to do. And it could be inherited. It could be probably like it's, it's something that they instinctively know to do uh, because in the wild, so wild canines, they eat their entire prey animal. And that includes whatever is in their guts, which is probably a lot of digested plant matter. So to supplement whatever they're being fed currently, they could be seeking out grass as a way to kind of enhance a, a, a supplement the diet to um, kind of make up for some of those things that the diet may be lacking from the, the uh, plant matter that they may not be getting. So it is certainly a source of fiber and there are other, you know, phytonutrients in grass. It's, it's green. So we are definitely going to see nutrient. I mean, there are other animals that do, uh, you know, consume grass for nutrition. So there are definitely nutrients to be found in the grass, but I, I, so I have, you know, I've had multiple dogs and I have definitely seen dogs eat grass. I will say I've seen a lot more grass eating from cats, <laughs> but that may be because I've had more cats, but when much to what you're saying, a lot of times what I have noticed as well with my own personal dogs is that they tend to seek out grass when maybe their tummy is not feeling great. One really interesting thing with my dog, Kim, is that I don't, I, I don't ever see her eating grass, even when I know her tummy is upset. So, oh, she's, she, <laughs> I said that and she, she's over here and she burped. Anyway, um, I was like watching her closely because I'm like, oh no, are you going to throw up? Because I said <laughs> something about your tummy being upset. Um, no, she's all good. But I have actually never seen her eat grass. So that's a really, to me, very interesting thing. I feel like most dogs will at some point in their lives eat grass. But I, I kind of attribute that to the fact that she does get a very species appropriate diet. And more recently, we have added more veggies into her diet because she needs more fiber because she needs a more diverse microbiome. Um, if you haven't heard me talk about getting her gut biome tested, that is something that I recently did. Um, she is nine years old. So she's like right there hitting into like the start of her senior years, according to veterinarians. And that is something that I'm like, all, all the warning signs are going off in my head. Like we need to we need to be very, very proactive and stay on top of everything and make sure that as she heads into her senior years, nothing, you know, we don't have, hopefully, all of our fingers and toes are crossed any issues, but we're doing everything we can to be proactive. And I think one of the reasons that, again, she doesn't, I have never seen her um, seek out grass to eat is because she has a very diverse diet anyway. She gets whole fresh foods. And um, now, especially more than ever, she's always gotten some vegetables, but now she's getting even more vegetables to help improve uh, the diversity in her gut microbiome. So I told you at the beginning of the video, there was one reason that if you Google why does why is my dog eating grass? You're going to see this one reason, and I don't agree with it. And we're going to talk about that. I told you at the beginning, we're going to talk about that. And we are in just a minute. I really quickly want to tell you before we get too much further into this video, when, so, okay, 
dog, your dog is eating grass. When is it time to worry? So if, if it's just occasionally here and there a little bit, no big deal, right? But if your dog starts eating grass and it seems like a chronic behavior, like, you know, he or she is always like every time they go outside, they're eating grass and you're like, come on, what is going on? Like if it's a chronic issue, especially if they are frequently vomiting. So they're eating grass and throwing up like a lot, then it is definitely time, definitely time to make an appointment with your veterinarian. Um, the only other thing, like, you know, if it's just occasional and you're like, okay, yeah, they, they are, they had some signs that their tummy was upset. They ate some grass, they threw up no big deal. Like that's no big deal. One caveat I will tell you that I have with this no big deal is that you do want to make sure whatever grass that your dog is eating is free of pesticides, herbicides, and other contaminants, because those can be very, very dangerous. We, we don't want to eat them. We don't want our dogs to eat them. Um, I personally, we do not put any sort of chemicals in our lawn, on our lawn. Um, we don't use chemicals to clean in our house. We don't use chemicals to clean it. Like I just, it's not necessary. There are natural alternatives that work really, really well. They have worked for millennia. <laughs> like we just don't need all these chemicals. So we use natural alternatives to anything we're, you know, cleaning in the house or anything we're putting on the lawn. So definitely be aware of, you know, what they're eating and make sure that there aren't a ton of chemical, like you don't certainly don't want something like Roundup or glyphosate, or, you know, the glyphosate being the, the um, active ingredient in Roundup. You certainly don't want that ever. Like, sadly, it's, it's everywhere. <laughs> um, we need to do our best to avoid it. But that those are causes for concern, right? If it's chronic, if there are chemicals on it, those are our causes for concern. So, all right, we are we're here. We're at, we're at the end, right? We have talked about the four reasons that we know of, according to scientists, according to behaviorists, that why our dogs are potentially eating grass. There is one other reason that you will find if you were to Google, why is my dog eating grass? And I don't agree with it. And here it is. The reason that Google or a lot of blog posts that Google pulls information from will tell you is that it could be a condition called PICA, P-I-C-A. And basically, PICA is something you may have heard of this, um, whether it be in, in a dog or a cat or humans, is where uh, that person or animal is always looking for putting something in their mouth, eating something that is not food. Um, so I, I know I have seen TV shows on this in the past where people eat crazy things like makeup and lotion and like paper. It's, it's just crazy. And some of the things that that people will eat and with dogs, a lot of times you'll see them eat things like rocks um, so or, or anything else around the house that isn't food. And uh, I don't. Even though a lot of blog posts that you find when you, if you were to Google this, uh, will say that this is, can be like wrapped up into a PICA-like condition or even just labeling it as PICA. I don't agree with that because they're like grass is a food source for some animals. There is nutritional benefit. There is certainly fiber benefit. So I don't, I don't, I don't characterize that as a non-food <laughs> item. Um, so I don't agree that it could be a, a, a PICA condition. However, if your and if your dog is eating other non-food items, then of course you do want to go down that route of talking to your veterinarian about um, all the non-food items that your your dog may be eating. But if they're eating grass, 
In addition to eating a bunch of non-food items, these non-food items could certainly be making their tummy upset <laughs> and um, then they're eating the grass to try to purge it, right? Because their tummy is upset. So that's kind of in a nutshell, like what is going on when we see dogs eating grass? So I certainly hope that this was um, informational, helpful. If your dog is eating grass, let me know about it. How often are they doing it? Um, do you notice them doing it when their tummy is upset? Do you notice that they do throw up after they eat the grass? Um, do they eat other non-food items that you're concerned about? Let me know. I'd love to uh, get a conversation going in the comments about that. And thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I don't, let me see here. Let me pull Facebook back up. You guys on Facebook are welcome to join in and, and leave comments and, and below the video, whether you're watching this live now or you're watching uh, the replay later on. And you guys on Instagram are awesome. Thank you. Thank you all for joining me every Thursday at 3 p.m. Central. Y'all are wonderful and I appreciate you being here. Thank you so, so much. Um, if you have any other questions and you just don't like the, you know, public forum of a live video, I get it. You can send me a DM and we can get a conversation going over there as well. Um, if you guys have not already started listening to the Pet Parenting Reset podcast, please head on over to your favorite podcast app, type in the Pet Parenting Reset and give it a follow Go ahead and start listening. Um, it is not one of those shows where you need to start from the beginning. Although when I find a podcast that I am into, I will start from the beginning and binge it. So I highly recommend you do that, but it's not necessary. So with that, I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend coming up. And uh, I hope to see y'all around next Thursday. <laughs> We're getting an Amazon delivery. Um, we'll be live again next Thursday, 3 p.m. Central. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend ahead. Give your pets some extra love from me. Bye, guys.